you've been watching the last few recaps and you'd know that I've been hoarding some plants and these are some of them. After our quick getaway to Gold Coast, I finally had the chance to work on my plants. And earlier this afternoon, I set up planters for the cuttings and the small plants that I got. Because they've been sitting on this table for quite a while and they're starting to get dry. I don't usually water plants on top of this table. Some of the larger plants have nice root systems already, so I have them planted in larger pots. They're out in the garden now. As for these, I would need to keep them in the shade, especially these ones in the front because they are all cuttings. These ones have roots but they are so tiny and they are dormant right now. And most of them have been growing in the shade so far, so I need to gradually increase the sun exposure. Otherwise, they would just burn. So, two planters. This planter at the back contains echeverias that I bought in garden centers, in Bunnings, etc. And this one at the front is what I'd like to call the Gloria Cuttings Box. Because these are all the cuttings that I got from Gloria. There are a couple of plants that I didn't include here, mainly because they're large and they, own, they already have their own roots, so I might as well put them in their own pots. And again, they're out in the garden now. Now that these two planters are set, I'm going to place this at the edge of the eaves. That way they would be getting some morning, morning sunlight and afternoon sunlight You know, when the sun is at an angle. Basically nothing overhead. They would need a bit of sun and I might start watering tomorrow because some of the cuttings here are fresh, especially the way, with the way I planted them earlier. I had to chop off some of them. So let me clear this table. Now this is a first clean table. Psych! New plants. Most of these plants aren't exactly new to my collection. This serve mainly as a reinforcement, especially once I start working on the bowls at the back. So everything you see here except this two and this one, I already have them. So from the front, this is the Catella, this is the Sidum Clavatum, this is the Echeveria Shamrock, this is the Superbum, and this is the Sidum Tundra Tornado. Now, in the middle, this is the Sidum Acre, and I finally saw one in person. I thought I already had an acre, but apparently they're not the same. The acre, the acre is much smaller. This is a Sidum Dasphylum. I thought I already had this one as well, but I'll have to check in the morning. This is a Sidum Pats Pink, but this is wrongly labeled as Sedeveria. Not correct. And these two Echeverias at the back, they are unlabeled, but I believe this one is a Blue Waves. I already got a Blue Waves at the back, but again, this is an, a backup, an insurance. And this one, I'm not sure if this is a Barbellion or a Paul Bunyan. Time will tell. Right now, the Barbellion and the Paul Bunyan has the same bumps while they are young, but when they grow older, they start looking different. Also, when they are young, they have the same leaf shape, which is why I really can't tell them apart right now. I'm really hoping this is a Paul Bunyan though, because my Paul Bunyan isn't doing so well right now. And for the recap, let's go indoors where it's much warmer. Let's start with episode 75. It's time for some maintenance. The first comments from Denise Cook. LOL on the bloopers, always love Zach. <laughs> and next is from Kathy Gilbreth. Enjoy the videos always and lucky Gloria got to be in your garden of paradise. You guys look like you're having fun. It was definitely fun. And even more fun because I had the chance to visit her garden after that. Well, not, not immediately after that, but a few days after. Anyway. From Claudia Morel Ruiz. Chuck, you have such a beautiful garden. Do I have a problem if I find very relaxing to see all the le dead leaves gone, the grass? <laughs> you and me both. It's so hard for me to tidy up because I'm a naturally messy person, but once I see the tidied, tidied up version, I would always think to myself, 
Why didn't I do that sooner? <clears throat> From Christina Eilers. Beautiful succulents and lots of hard work. Love the bloopers. Thank you so much. Yeah, Gloria and Nambi were so were a very funny bunch. <laughs> From the Dub Rose one, always enjoy the video. Good bloopers. Hello, L. From Alex Late, I'm mowing tomorrow. Might do some planting as well. My backyard is three times the size of yours. Cries internally. I have the same mower. Good for the environment. By the time you see this reaction, I hope you had a great time mowing, otherwise <laughs> I can't do anything for you. <laughs> and finally from Isa Zidlowska, nice edging job there. I loathe mowing the lawn, it's like vacuuming outside. <laughs> One day I hope to minimize my grass footprint. Mm. Your friend is hilarious. Having friends who share your hobby is the best. Definitely the best. And we move on to the next video, which I put out, I think, my Thursday or my Wednesday. Anyway, it was so recent. I think it was Thursday. So this second video is an idea that I've been toying around with for quite a while now. But I only got to work on it recently, because why not? You know how I have the daily Echeveria on Instagram, and I've been thinking of doing a feature on Echeverias on my YouTube channel, but if I do a direct, no, it's not a transcription. If I just do a voiceover of what I write in Instagram, then it feels redundant, you know? I'm not adding anything of value, except maybe just more photos or more videos, which I think is lacking, you know? Because if I were the viewer and I would see a feature about this Echeveria, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want to stop at just, I would hope, I would want it not to stop at just having photos of, photos and a um, little trivia about it. I might want to know more about it, say how it grows, how it usually looks like, how to tell it apart from other plants. And that last idea stuck in my mind, because questions like that have always existed, you know, about what's the difference between plant A and plant B. And, and for some reason, there has been a larger volume of these types of questions recently. So I decided I'll make a video about it. So the first one that came into my sights was the Black Prince versus the Black Knight. It has been, I can't remember who asked it, but it was in one of my but it was a comment, it was a question in one of my videos recently. I think I think the comment came in last week or a few days ago. And I decided that maybe that was a good topic for a video. And apparently it was, because man, just look at all of your replies. And towards the end of that video, I dropped a question about whether you'd be interested in seeing more videos like that, specifically a comparison video. And based on responses alone, it looks like there's a demand for it. So I'm thinking that maybe in between producing my Let's Plant videos, I could work on comparison videos like this, or maybe just talking about some varieties. I think that would be interesting. And at least compared to my actual Let's Plant videos, this ones I can do even when it's raining, or it is not dependent on the weather being nice, so yeah, I think I'll make more of this. The feedback on this video is so positive and so promising that I think this would be a nice series to start working on. And, and for that, I'd like to acknowledge all of you written here. And I'll start from the very first. To Zainizana66, Leanne in Adelaide, Sandy Shirley, Alex Curtis, Olga's Dreamland, The Dubrose One, John Sheffield, Isa Zidlowska, Chet Judy, Rosemary Gipiga, Treasures of Plants, Laura Serrano, Blissful Box, Retro Ray Succulents, Adrian Salud, Tu Lu, Lisette Wonder Woman, Sherry Carr, Katrina Nazaire, Nazaire, 
Leticia Espinosa de Goodman, John Mickle, Connie Beal, Michelle Gelangerin, Earth Geomancer, Sheena Cloton, Tammy Finch, Love Sucks, Crazy Cactus Collector, Monolop, and Patricia Morgan. That's a huge list. Thank you for your feedback. I'm definitely going to continue this series. You could drop your suggestions on what to compare, but of course, I could only do it with plants that I own. So, ultimately, it's still my choice which plants I would work on, but you might have interesting suggestions that I could do, assuming I have those plants. And of course, I'm going to do comparisons of those that I'm confident about. So as early as now, I'm telling you, it's going to be hard to tell apart freelies because a lot of them come from the same species. It's going to be hard to tell apart the Agavoides as well for the same reason. Actually, pretty much many of the hybrids, it's so hard to tell them apart. But at the very least, I could do something or I don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes right now I'm going to give myself a personal deadline or a personal goal of one comparison video per week I'm not yet sure what day I'll be putting it out so it might be random you know it mainly depends on when I get to film but yeah at least once a week and that means that I might be putting out three videos every week. The first one would be the Let's Plant episode, the second one would be this recap, and the third would be the comparison video or whatever trivia video I come up with. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and enable that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I put something up. I'm going to create an outline or a list of plants that I could compare, well, my own personal list just as a guide. Well, it's more of a video ideas list that I've been keeping. And I'll see if I could and I'll see if I could create a, a backlog. That way I could commit to a specific schedule. Because right now I'm just trying to keep up with Let's Plan. It's so hard, especially given our crazy winter weather. But hey, we're in the final month of winter in the southern hemisphere, which means that spring is around the corner. And that means we're getting longer days again soon. Alright, enough babbling from me. I'll see you in the next episode. 